Hey friends, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, I'm Angie and I enjoy sharing different projects that we have going on around our home. And today I will be sharing how I made some DIY Christmas ornaments using dried florals from our backyard. A few weeks ago, I shared a magnolia wreath that I made just using magnolia leaves from our tree. And I had so much fun creating that and we have so many flowers and trees in our yard that I just wanted to see what was available to make Christmas ornaments. I love to make Christmas ornaments every year. I've made a few in the past and I'll link those videos below in case you missed them. But I just love creating Christmas ornaments every year, at least one or two. And so this year we're gonna use flowers and plants that we have in the yard. I have these beautiful ferns growing in the backyard. I love the shape of them and the leaves are really tiny so I thought they would be perfect in a little ornament. And so we're just going to go around the yard and see what's available, get creative, and make a few Christmas ornaments. So we're back in from the yard and I've got a few things that I can use. A few things were in my stash, but most of the stuff came from the yard. I've got a lot of green and I've got the red berries to add that little pop of red for Christmas. I also picked up some velvet ribbon. I got this at Marshall's and I've got these clear plastic ornaments from Hobby Lobby and they are half off right now, which is a really good deal for these. And these look beautiful in glass ornaments too, but I just wanted to use plastic just to be on the safe side. Since I wanna make these ornaments look a little bit more high end, I do remove the tops and I'm gonna be doing something fun with those a little bit later. But I just add the florals into my Christmas ornaments and you can add as little or as much as you want to your ornaments. Just have fun with it and just get creative. I'm adding these red leaves. I think they're so much fun. I don't know how they will last in my ornament. I don't know if they'll stay red, but I'll keep you posted on that. But they're a really fun color and I think they're gonna be beautiful in this ornament. Last week, I shared a video with you where I was cleaning out my fall decor. And if you've been here for a while, you know how much I love my dried hydrangeas. And I wanted to come up with a way to use my hydrangeas for Christmas. So I saved a few of my dried florals and I'm adding them to this Christmas ornament. And I'm just gonna have a spoiler alert and let you know that these are beautiful. I love them inside these ornaments and I even saw some ornaments on Amazon that you could take apart and you could fit a whole bloom inside of them. I haven't tried them, but I think that I'm going to try that and see how that works. But I love the different petals just taken apart and added to the ornament. It is so beautiful and elegant and I just love how it looks and it also gives me a chance to use my dried hydrangeas all the way through Christmas. And then I just kept adding different florals that I grabbed from the yard and added them to the ornament. And if it was too green, I added a little berry to give that pop a red and just had fun with it. Just added different things and just got creative. It was a really fun afternoon creating these ornaments.
Here's an idea for you in case you don't have these plants readily available to you. Just go to your grocery store and pick up a bunch of baby's breath. It only costs about $3 for the bundle and it looks beautiful inside of these ornaments. I just used a skewer and pushed the blooms down into the ornament to arrange them so that it looked nice to me. And I just kept adding this and these ornaments are so beautiful, simple, and is just lovely. They are my favorite, maybe a runner up to the hydrangea blooms because I'm a little partial to the hydrangeas, but I think these will be so beautiful on a tree. Just make a bunch of these and just have these on the tree and they just have a statement and the beautiful white blooms with the clear ornament and then you'll see what I do to the tops and how I add them to my tree. They're just absolutely beautiful. Now onto my tops. Now this part is completely optional. You could just use the tops that came with it, but I took some black acrylic paint and rub and buff and mixed them together and painted the tops of my ornaments to be gold, just so it fits into my color scheme a little bit better. And it does make the ornament look a little bit more high end, but I just love this combination of rub and buff and black paint. It gives it an antique brass look and it's so pretty against the white baby's breath and the different florals. It almost makes it look like a vintage ornament and you know how much I love my vintage. So you don't have to do this, but it really adds something to it. After I added the tops back on, then I just added some velvet ribbon to the top of my ornaments. And I got this velvet ribbon. It's red. I'm going to be using red in my Christmas decor this year. So I thought this would be pretty added to these ornaments. And I just tied a simple knot at the top just to hold it onto the Christmas tree. But you don't have to add these to the Christmas tree. You can put them in a bowl with some garland or just put them on gifts. Just sprinkle them around in your Christmas decor. I also added this Dollar Tree ribbon and it's lace. I added these to the paper whites and it just makes them look so pretty and festive. And here is the finished look of my ornaments. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite and also let me know if you plan to make these. Well friends, that wraps up this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you were inspired to create your own DIY Christmas ornaments. If you're new here and you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. And you can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, and our blog, Our Contented Home. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.